Recipe for a buying frenzy. Oh, oh, Have boys ever been this keen to go shopping? Lining up at Woolies from opening, crawling under the roller doors, sprinting down the aisles. Oh my! All for a drink. Oh. It's prime time for this energy drink. Well, where is it usually kept? Um, usually, I think it's right over there. Yeah. Right now, teens can't get enough, and either can our supermarkets, apparently. Oh, it's sold out. It's sold out. Okay. Yeah. Prime has been acquired. They drink it, they fill it up with water. As long as they keep having it, it's not about drinking it, it's, I think it's about having the bottle. You've probably never heard of Prime, but if social media is any indication, it could well be the coolest thing on the planet, especially for young men. I bet that when you were a teenager, you liked stuff that your parents probably rolled their eyes to and thought, why do you even like this? So to bring you up to speed, it's these guys again. YouTubers Logan Paul and KSI, the international duo who sent Channel 9 into meltdown. That was them promoting their drink, and this is what they've left behind. And it's even COVID test, they wasn't popular as much as this drink. Whatever we get, if it's a thousand, two thousand pieces, three thousand, they don't even stay to the next day. Woolworths, the main supplier, is caught in the middle. Excuse me, do you stop that prime energy drink here? This busy store has a secret stash. Usually we sell behind the counter. It's allegedly in so much demand, Prime has joined Baby Formula and even the fan favourite toilet paper as a product which needs a limit. Look, I've been in the business for almost 23 years here in Redfin. I've never seen any hype or any trend goes crazy for a drink like the Prime drink. Hazem Seda from Redfern Convenience Store imports his Prime from overseas and has had no problem selling it at $12.95 a bottle. He was like this in the school when he had the Prime bottle. He went that big. <laughs> My school banned it. Your school banned it? It's probably our Why did they ban it? Because everyone, everyone sells them at school. Sells them? Bans are making it bigger. I've got a whole collection. You've got a collection? How many? Can't tell you that. <laughs> what, do you reckon someone's going to come and nick them? Maybe. What's it taste like? I tasted the Meta Moon, that's alright. Lemon Lime's the best. Ice Pop, that's alright. Oh. But the grape, it tastes like medicine. Who cares what it tastes like? First time I bought it, um, everyone was like going off, like saying, Oh, you got, you got Brian. Where'd you get them from? Why do you think they're so popular? Um, mainly because they're made by um, people who do are like influencers. But are these influencers taking our kids for a ride? I feel like they've held back the product deliberately. So you think this is deliberate? I'm absolutely certain it's deliberate. Marketing expert Dee Madigan believes an old trick is making the drink look more popular than it actually is. So they did this experiment once with a toddler and they put him in a room with a toy and exactly the same toy behind a perspex glass and guess which one he went for? The one behind the perspex glass. There is something innate in us that thinks if it's harder to get, I want it more. And that's, that's a, the science behind a lot of marketing. Playing hard to get. In this case, it's worked a treat. Bottles of this stuff are now selling for over $50 online and by the time you get your hands on it, you're overdue for a drink. And guess what? I'm going to give it to you for free. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. No, he's got a Gatorade in the bottle. Okay, so I'm Logan Paul. And I'm just like your biggest fan of crime. I want to just get restocked. I'll buy everything. I'll... 